In this video, I'm gonna talk about the new asset allocation that I learned from Kathy Wood, and this is gonna help you greatly increase your earning power. So the old asset allocation meaning is 60% of your investments should be in stocks, 40% should be in bonds, and this will protect you and protect your portfolio from risks such as a stock market crash. But with the new asset allocation, I'm gonna say 60% should be in stocks that are doing good for the future or investments that are doing good for the present day. And then 40% should be in stocks that's gonna do good in the future. Now, a lot of analysts have been coming down on Kathy Wood in regards to her investment strategy, her investments in AI and Tesla, and some of them really, really disrespected her, saying that she was investing like a toddler. But as you can see with all the artificial intelligence software, the YouTubers claiming that they can make you a millionaire with this software chat, GPT, you can see that artificial intelligence is coming to the forefront, which is going to lead to more layoffs. And it's going to take over the, the whole labor and labor market in force, which you're going to see massive, massive layoffs. And you're seeing it already in the tech industry because they built the code. And now these companies don't need them anymore because the AI is running on their own. So when I say investing for right now, investing for right now would be just for example mcdonald's or you know gm ford starbucks that's the investing for things that's doing good right now now for the future would be microsoft because microsoft has its hand in chat gpt then also tesla and neo and lucid the ev market which is taking over the auto industry about to take over the auto industry and you can do this in any industry, especially with real estate, because in real estate, there's a whole shift, a whole dynamic that is happening that's going to bring a, a whole way and a whole new way of how we do things with the lawsuits that's getting ready to happen with the seller not wanting to pay out for the buyer's agent. Now, with everything that's going on with inflation, it's more of a rental.